Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a few things I want to show you that we picked up at Ross today, and then I have another box from Taboo. So I'm going to go through that. But I just want to show these things real fast because I didn't want to show everything that we got. So I got these. They're pineapples, so they can sit like this, and then they set on the table upside down. But how cute. I love them. So I got six of them for $9.99. I didn't think that was too bad. Here's the packaging, the Ross sticker. This is what they look like. I'm so excited for these. I've seen so many people get them, but they've been getting them off Amazon. And then I finally talked to my boyfriend into getting new, well, he's been buying a lot of new shoes lately, so I can't say that, but he got this pair of red and these are Pumas and they were on sale for $30. He's a size 10 and he tried to like three pairs on. So if you're gonna buy shoes, make sure you go and try them on because there was one pair that was his size that he couldn't get into. And then I bought him that blue pair, but we finally found these and we really liked these. So he liked these better than the ones I got him. So we'll just donate his other ones. But that is what we got. We got like some stuff for camping too. Um, yeah, just a few things, some toolkits. I got some candy. Yeah, but this was my big find. He had more fun at Ross than I did. We went to Target too, and I got a little 30% off like house that I can use for Halloween and Christmas. But let's jump in. It's my friend's graduation gift he graduated on Friday from college. I'm so excited to give it to him, I can't wait. Anyway, let's jump into this Temu order. I kind of looked at things so I could tell you kind of like the prices I paid roughly. The whole order was $130, so I had a coupon on that as well. So what I tell you roughly the prices are um, is what I paid for them with my discount but um yeah i feel like the prices fluctuate so much anyway that it doesn't matter so this was opened on the bottom so i noticed that the packaging has been getting worse like my packages seem like they're beat up but um the first item i got is this super micro bubble face cleaner And um, I'm going to plug it in so it can get a charge on it. And this part comes off. So you put your water in here. And this cap comes off. And then it comes with five different pieces that you snap on there. Oh, that doesn't hold very well. Maybe this goes on first. Oh yeah. So it looks like this piece goes on first. It came with two of these. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Put the mist in. It's got a clean, deep skin system. Principle of Skin Beauty Instrument. Let me let me see if I can figure out how these go. Okay, I did not find how the pieces go on, but this part disconnects and it's got this hole on it. And you put this in there, and I do, it's not charged, so I'm gonna plug it in. And this thing twists, so it has two. Well, it says it has. Oh, that's it. So it has one on there already. So you take that off and then you can put one of these soft probes on. 
I was like, it comes with three of each, but I only see two. So it comes with three hard ones, that, and that one was already on here, and I can put the soft one on here. And it's a deep clean for your face. So I'm going to have to look for some kind of maybe like cleansing water, or maybe I'll just put like essential oils in this. But I will get that plugged in, and I'm going to go, I like found a whole bunch of stuff, and I want to go through like how it works. Like I'm going to use it and then try to put it in a video of how it works and demonstrate it. So the next thing in here, um, I think I paid like around like between 15 and $20 for this, but I really wanted to try it. It's supposed to be like a micro derm thing machine, but anyway, let's move on. This is a makeup gift box. So we have that. And I'm gonna get my scissors out because I can't get this open. So it's this box set. This is what it looks like. I thought the packaging was pretty neat on it. This is gonna go with my stack of makeup. Um, that I want to try out or do a video about. So this, of course, from Temu. Oh. Okay, and then you pull out here. And it comes in this nice little, comes with four pieces. We're going to open them all. But nice, I like it. I like the packaging. I like the, the artwork. So it comes with a lipstick. Ooh. And that be red. But not very pigmented, like, okay. I can get on board with that. Okay. I'm gonna go for this little black. I'm gonna go for this little black one next. I feel like it's a four-day advent calendar. Yay! It's this little mushroom top brush, which I've really been wanting to try this. And it comes in this cute little, it almost looks like it, kind of like it's trying to be a rose, but I don't know that to be true. I'm gonna go with this one, square one, next, and let's see what it is. Oh, it doesn't wanna come out. So, okay, so I, I took the lid off. Here's the lid. And it was hard to get out of the box, so this thing is supposed to go in the lid. And then this is like the product. And it's so weird. I don't know what it is because it, like... It's like color around here. I'm gonna have to look and see. It smells like a regular lotion, like not very, like a Jergens lotion, really, just like a non-scented. So there's that, it's in number one. But it's just clear and it's not a powder, it's a cream. Okay, it must be color changing. So annoying. I have no idea. Oh. oh, 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 okay. This was just a cover. There it is. So it does have, it does have like a little design in there. And then I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna dip this in there. I'm glad, I'm glad that when I rubbed it, it wasn't actually the product because I had lipstick on it, and so I got lipstick on there, but. Oh yeah, this is gonna be way too light for me. This is gonna be a concealer. Or, yeah, like, you can carve out all of the parts. It's really light on me, but. But I feel like it went a long way and it gave me really good coverage and it's a lighter shade so like 
this is gonna be perfect for me. I'm excited. We're gonna use this in like a full out video, like under my eyes. But let's put, maybe it's so, it, it might be greasy. I don't know, we'll try it together. I, it doesn't feel greasy on my face, but who knows. And then this last one was just a regular powder and it comes with a little poofy -ness. but I will probably use the um, little sponges I got last time, which I thought were right in here, but they're not, so I'm not going to show those again. I know, you guys are like, she's going to, I'm going to look till I find it. No, I'm going to prove you wrong. Next time, we're... <laughs> This is like 17 items and we're only in two deep. So. Next thing I got, I forgot that I ordered more than one of these. So I had, now I have two. I have this one and now I have this Vogue one. I also have new magnetic lashes that are sitting here. But this is the other one that I got, the Vogue. And I think this is only, so this is 72 and this is 72. So they're pretty much the same. Um, I just kind of wanted to see what the packaging on these were because I think the packaging is different. I'm going to be really happy if it's what I think it should be. I don't want it to like be all connected. I want to be able to take out the center pieces by themselves. So I want to reach in here. I want to be able to... Oh, no. All right. So I do like that it's like a storybook instead, but I was under the impression that this part, these trays in here were supposed to be like magnetic. It was supposed to have like a magnetic spine. I think I paid like $8 for this. So not too disappointing, but I was hoping you could take, take these individually out. But I do like that it's just like a book. It's like reading a magazine, Wild at Heart, the side says. And it's got blush and highlighter and contour shades. So it has more of those. Then it has your more like everyday style makeup eyeshadow. And I am going to try this because I think I want to take one of these to... We're going out of town and I want to take one of these just because I feel like it would be easier with all of the... Like these, I'm not packing everything separate. Like I have my eyeshadow shades, which I don't use. I don't get too crazy. So I don't really need a whole lot. Now this palette is a little, is scented. <laughs> and it's, oh my gosh, and it comes with a mirror. Look at, oh my gosh. That is so awesome. It says, love me more. 72 fashion eyeshadows and a face palette. So this is like all you really need. So I'm excited about this. I love, I just, I'm so obsessed with how you just like flip it. Like I feel like I'm reading you guys a story, but I love how this just flips and it's like all here. It's one, one piece, one book. It's like a storybook of makeup. You can tell how light that makeup was like when I'm in the light. This is, it was dark so I didn't blend it very well, but then this palette goes back in here. Or I'm going to keep it back in there, and there we go. Which, this Hello Peach one, if you didn't see my last video, it rolls out. So, here it all is. It doesn't have as many face colors. It does have more glitter in it, but I don't really use glitter, so I'm not really worried about that. So, this one only has six colors of highlighter, and... It's all highlighter, so this is like the full face palette. So I'm really glad that I went back and got that one as well. Okay, next up, I've been waiting desperately for this item to come in. We need it so bad. And I was gonna bring in a shirt, but it's one of those things that I'll probably show you when I do it and I'll test it out. But first off, I'm gonna make sure that it's an American plug. Um, we're st we did buy a converter for the other thing that I got. Um, that has a Euro plug, which I don't know why they sent me the Euro plug because I did shopping for 
the uh, the US, but it sent me the Euro plug. So happy to get that. So it's kind of all of these things in y'all. But this is a clothes steamer. So it comes with this little attachment, and it comes with this little attachment. So this is like a mesh net. This one is a scrubber. And then I am not, I'm not sure what this is because it doesn't like go on anything. Maybe it's just a replacement for like this piece. Nope. Maybe not. Oh no, it is. Oh, I wonder if you have to use this piece. Again, we'll read the instructions and find out. But then you just fill it with water. Did it have a plug? I don't know if it had a plug. Oh, <laughs> I was like, it needs batteries. It has this. And this is screwed on. I'm trying to take this bottom part off and it's screwed on. So you put your water and cleaner, or water and like, we have an anti-wrinkle thing, so I probably put some of that in there, put it in there, and then it's supposed to steam your clothes. Let me take this off, dude, otherwise we'll like forget. And these, I'll have to read what all the attachments are, but then you can stick that on there, and your, oh, so this button back here, um, you can push it and lock it so it's like the trigger for the to make the machine go and you can lock it so it's just on so you're just focused on um, just doing your laundry or cleaning your staff so I don't know I have to find out what this piece is still but anyway this was like $23 so I don't know if maybe you want to look like on Amazon or something and see if it's cheaper, but I just was on there and I had a coupon. I already showed this necklace or this bracelet. Um, it's the serial killer or the scary movie bracelet and it comes in this bag and then comes in this bag and it's got like Chucky and Jason and um, Pennywise. And Michael, I'm just going to take it out. Okay. I'm going to probably throw this just in as a gift for one of my friends, and then we'll just have the same one. But her son will probably take it, and that's fine too. And it's got good space. I do show this more in my other video. Um, I didn't know I had two coming. So that's what happens when you're just browsing, and you're like, oh, I see something that I like. And then you buy it. Okay. Oh, I'm really excited to try those. Maybe we'll do those last. Okay, I'm gonna try this out as well. Just getting some things out of this box because there's not very much left. Okay, this next one I got for my work. Oh, and I got it in pink. Ooh, I went back to pink. I never know what I'm gonna get. Okay, and it comes with this attachment, and I think this attachment goes in here, and you can just use it as a little, like, okay. Man, I was hoping that this had the batteries already, but it really, it doesn't. And it's not a chargeable thing, and I think we already have one of these, but... Anyway, it's a mini vacuum for like your desk and stuff. I don't, I push, okay. The button is kind of flimsy, you push it and then it turns on and, but my work desk is always so dirty, like with dust and stuff. I don't know how it's so dusty in there, but I got this to see. And then I had powder, like makeup powder on my desk. And I was like, I'm gonna use this to get that off there. But no, I'm not because it doesn't work, but I think it just, Turn it on and then, and it's supposed to suck it up. I don't know. I think we had another one that I got destined for something. And I don't think he liked the way it works, so I think we got rid of it. 
dollar bottom suction pipe. So this is all the instructions you get, but it does need batteries, I see. And it says to put the batteries in before you push the button, which I've pushed the button like 10 times already. So anyway, we'll get some batteries in that. That'll be another little thing that I can test out. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, there's more things. I thought we were almost done. But we're not. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So next I got these two sets of headphones. So I find my headphones dying more and more and I use them a lot more. Oh, this box is really nice. So this is a pink set of headphones. Or ear earphones, I guess. They don't have the headpiece. And then you take them out. Oh, it's got like a little hanger. Oh, and this is magnetic. So it's got a strong magnet on it. There we go. Okay, but it doesn't come all the way out, so that's nice. You're not going to lose it. And then this is what the headphones look like, or the earphones. It's so weird to say that. I don't know. They have the microphone on them. And then you must be able to tell when they're charging. Okay, and then up here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it has a power button up here. I just turned them on. And then they are charging right now. And they charge as long as they're in there. And then right here it tells you. So that's the first one I got. I have not paired them with my phone. And then in this box underneath that part is more ear things and your charger. So these ones were, one of these pairs was $7. One of them was 6 And you know, I've paid a lot for headphones. Like, I have... The big over the ear ones and I have little earbuds because they for work the earbuds work best for me um, especially ones that I can just wear one of um, but they die like before my my day is even done so I really wanted a pair or I wanted some extra backup pairs and one for my gym bag so I'll tell you this box is really nice though it feels nicely packaged nicely it feels like a good product. Like, I don't know if that's going to be true, but it looks like a good one. And the next one, I got this mostly for the case, which... Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks the same. So these are not in here, so here's the case. And I think it's supposed to come through right here and, like, show you what percentage they're at. And then it closes. This case feels very lightweight. Um, Kind of like it's almost not going to be worth even the seven dollars but we'll see and then it comes with extra ear pieces and a charger and i'm gonna go ahead and throw these in here and i i did read some reviews on these or i've seen other people do videos and they said that the quality is not the best now i don't listen to music that's cool so it does tell you what the battery power is so we have 93 on this one and I'm just going to let them charge. Here's your charging port. But I just don't think, like, I just don't have enough headphones. Like, and I lose so many of them that I was like, these are fine. And I, like I said, I don't care about the quality so much because I don't really listen to music. I'm more of a TV podcast viewer. So to me, I don't know. Same with like 4K and stuff. I just, am not, I'm just like, oh yeah. I can tell a difference, but it doesn't really matter to me. I can watch, I can watch it in low resolution. Same with my volume. I'm just listening to people talk. So next, I showed these in an earlier video. I just didn't open them. So I got this little Tamagotchi, which is double. Like my Jurassic World one is like this big, as big as the screen on this. So. I got myself a pink one. I'm going to pull this thing. I don't even remember. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a bunny. But I think there's... I think you can choose your animal. Oh, yeah. Chicken. There's a panda. Okay, I'm doing the whale for sure. There's a seahorse. A hedgehog. Oh, my gosh. A shrimp. 
a sheep. A penguin! I think that's a little man. <laughs> um, no idea. Frog, girl, superhero, dog. Oh, there's the frog. Fish, butterfly, bee, hogwart, chicken, bat. I want to say a bear with a tail. I have no idea. That's a fast bird, it looks like. Um, I'm going to say this is a fox. Another dog. Is this like a pony? Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to call this a horse. <laughs> oh, yep. And there's the bull. That's a, I'm going to call that a koala. Oh, they are an elephant. A snail. A crab. A reindeer. Tis the season. A dolphin. This looks like kind of like Klaus from American Dad. However, okay. This is like a jumping child. I didn't know that you could raise children as a Tamagotchi pet. This thing looks like the devil. No idea. No idea what that is. This seriously looks like a vase like i'm gonna hatch a vase there's a child child that's something looks like panda express what the heck that's grandpa these are scary some of these are scary whoa i think you can raise a sumo wrestler another child that's big bird yeah it looks just like big bird Okay. Oh my gosh, these are all little just cartoon characters. There's the original. That's what he is. That's what we grew up with. Like, if you're, I'm late 30s, and when you got one of these, you got that thing. Which is fine. They got more advanced, but I think that's monkey. I kind of wish I would have got my mom one of these. There is a million animals on here. I thought this was gonna be like a quicker video. I was like, I should go slow. Okay, so I must have just selected a robot. I don't want to. Oh. Okay. I want that. And what time is it? It's five. All right, well, we're just gonna put that aside. I don't know what I'm gonna grow yet. The thing about these though that really sucks is that once they're pulled out and turned on, they like don't turn off. So I'm just gonna leave this on the whale in case it decides to choose for me. Okay, the next item I'm gonna show, this is, I, there's one I'm really excited about. Um, I got these little shoe inserts. They are plush. And I thought they'd be comfortable in a pair of shoes. You buy these in your size. Mine just happen to be pink. But you know, they're just foam on the bottom and they're really not that comfortable. They don't seem like they're going to be that comfortable. They're just velvety. I mean, they feel good. But you can just take these out and wash them from your shoes too. So I kind of liked that option. Like you can just take it and then you can just wring it out. But I honestly don't know if I'm going to end up using these. I got them in a size 8. But like I said, they don't offer any padding. Like, maybe they'd be comfortable, like, over memory foam or something. But I don't know. I'm skeptical. These were $1.78 like, or something. So I went ahead and got them because I thought... I don't know what I thought for that price, honestly. I just... They looked cute. I don't think I have a use for them in mind. So I put them in a shoe. It's not like I can do other things with them. Not bad though. Feel like good quality. Can wash them. Okay. Clean off some of this stuff. Let's see how the headphones are doing. Oh, 
so that dies pretty fast. We were at 93 a couple minutes ago, now we're at 90, but it might be their first initial charge. Who knows why it's doing that? Maybe it's all the time. Okay, this next item is a, like, I think it's supposed to be lip mask or lip balm. I don't know if you've seen this on here, but I instantly became obsessed. And it's supposed to be, um, oh my gosh, fuck. Yes. I think this was $3, and I, like, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, which I'm not disappointed in any way that it's in this tiny box, but it is a honey pot, and this is the whole reason I bought it. So even if I would have just got this piece that I'm going to show you, I would have been totally fine with that. I actually searched for this item just to see if I could get disposable plain ones, but this is a honey like a stirrer like from back in the day and you just put it in there and then you can put it on your lips so I don't know I'm so excited to have this little thing it's got a little ball on the end I just think this is so freaking cute in fact I ordered two of these because I thought this was so cute I did it I did order another style and this does not even smell good it smells like it's trying to be honey and but like Honey and like cough syrup. Yeah. And like a bathroom cleaner. I I do not want to put this on my lips. Like, I'm going to put something on my lips. I want it to be appetizing. This? No. If it just smelled like honey. So really, I just paid the $3.18 for this thing. I'm going to put that in there. I don't think I'm going to keep this. I might actually just clean it out. I could put real honey in it. All right, not disappointed at all with that. Okay, the next item I wanna show you, I grabbed this for pretty much next year. I've seen people wear them outside of the Christmas season, so it might be kind of cute, but if all else fails, I will wear it to an ugly sweater. And it is just this dinosaur cardigan. So stinking cute got them on the sleeves. It's got a little, little Rexy Rex here. How oh, stinking cute. I love it. Okay. We have three more items and it's that time in the video when we be opening up the shoes. Yes. One day I'm going to do shoes first. Maybe I should start with shoes. Okay. First pair I have. These were $16. And look at these are stunning. They kind of just smell like new shoes. They don't really have a bad smell. I don't know if you can see down in there. I don't know what that line is. Is it? It kind of looks like a scuff mark in there, but no. It feels no different. It's just like a detail on there. So they have the side zip. The zipper works better than shoes I've gotten from other places that were expensive. It's kind of got a slightly pointed toe and it's got a very textured detail. I really like these buttons that go up the side with this. Now this is just not staying right here because during shipping they kind of got smushed and it's kind of in there. It just kind of just <clears throat> like permanently dented so I'm gonna I'll stamp these up and everything but when I wear them I won't notice it doesn't feel like there's any annoying like strings around this that's gonna give me like cause rubbing or a blister they're very sturdy on the bottom and they've just got this low heel on them these do come in brown as well I ordered these in my regular size eight I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on I'm pretty excited about these And they really actually look kind of small. So yeah, a little bit. I would size, if they do half sizes, which I don't know that they do, but if they do, I would definitely do a half size up. They feel really good like on them, but I have wide feet. So if you have wide feet, you either want to do, I'm going to move this basket. If you have wide feet, um, definitely size up a half a size. 
don't size down in these if they don't have your size so just count it for what it is and just know that these aren't supposed to be part of your life other than that really comfortable these could actually probably use these and if you saw my other shoe my red shoe i got those from tamman too and they're actually really comfortable i'm gonna stick i'm gonna see if this even fits in here it does not so i can't even put these in here but they are so cute and they actually look really nice i thought they looked nice on tell me what you think in the comments i like this detail that has the just the seam right here and then it kind of yeah i like these for that price i was i decided i was gonna do it because i thought it was a good decision for my life okay all the shoes in this order were super cute Okay, I kind of wish these <laughs> would have been packaged in boxes because it also had a dent right here in the toe and that's after I pushed it out. You can still see the dent. So yeah, and it just dents right in. So it'll probably forever be like that. Sometimes I wonder if there's like cardboard under here and then it dents <laughs> and this like outside coating is all you get to protect you from the melting cardboard and that's why they dent so easily I mean I didn't buy steel toed boots so I guess what can you expect I like that they're a high top they are plush lined all the way through which was an appeal that I just loved on here the white ones I got did not have the plush all the way through so and look at I honestly think this is the same thing so this just came right out, <laughs> but this is a worse version of these. Just so you know, that's what the bottom looks like. It does have this little piece of memory foam in the heel. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. And they're not laced up all the way, so I'm gonna just throw in they're not laced properly, let me tell you that. Some people like to wear their laces like that. I would also size up in these. And they're not a wedge, so that's really disappointing too. There is enough room in them that I could probably add a wedge, uh, like the ones that I got, the plastic ones. But these are super comfortable. Like they are, this is the one I got last time. I've worn them twice now and super comfortable. These. I'm not sure you know I only see the shoes that I wear from this angle so if they don't look cute from this angle I'm like no I don't like that they're not a wedge everything looks like a wedge on the website all right these are these were like around $15 too between 15 and 20 the only thing that feels cheaply made on these, though, oh, that even opened, and it says Evolutions. Um, the only thing is the laces. The laces feel very cheaply done. All right, we got one, one more pair of shoes. Okay, this bag <laughs> is just any way I put it. It's not opening. Okay, also gonna say it now thought these were a wedge as well they really looked like it but I'm not disappointed with them again you can't those wedge things I found out that don't they don't go well in tennis shoes so I think that they would go with these these are gonna go like I'm, I hate to say this these are gonna go perfect with my um Grinch sweater but I already just have the Grinch shoes so probably not gonna wear those but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this sucker on man oh yeah these, this is so soft fuzz and it is not lined through. I just kicked myself in the face. It's not lined all the way through, but it is all the way up around here. I love the round toe. I love the way these look. Um, could have definitely... Actually, these fit perfect. They fe I feel good about these. I don't know. They were just meant to be part of my life. And they come in. these come in different colors. Just tying it up now, I'm just, oh, 
But I did put it through the last lace. <laughs> okay, so here these green ones are. They look super cute. I kind of wish the laces came out further, but I think you can put that down. Oh, that's terrible. That looks like a rooster. So let's just tuck that. Oh my gosh, these are, are cute. I, again, wish they were a wedge, but they're not. You can take these places. These shoes scream go in places. Heck yeah. Okay. Well, that's all I've got today. I'm not disappointed with this haul at all. I have one more item coming that was supposed to be in this box, but because it had batteries, it was like a rechargeable. I don't know, all these two, I guess, were are the same in the same boat. But I ordered a second hand warmer so I could have one for each pocket, and it hasn't shown up yet. The It shipped separately, I said for safety reasons. I don't know, maybe they thought the chapstick might leak and it would ruin that. So they didn't take any risks. Sorry, I'm trying to put my shoe back on. Didn't take any risks, so. Um, so if you like this video or any of these products, or if you plan on picking any of these products up or looking for them, please let me know in the description box and tell me what your favorite part of it was. And if you've used any of these things already, put a little clip down in the comments. We can all see before I do it. I can learn from your mistakes. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't yet, subscribe and like this video and please leave me a comment. Have a wonderful day.